what is up guys welcome back to another gta 5 video in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to uninstall oiv files in gta the one in particular that we're going to be uninstalling in this video is the 330 car pack oiv the sad thing about it is there's no automatic way to do it but i came up with a quick and easy manual way to delete everything and get everything back to normal so let's get into the video Firstly, you're going to open up your OpenIV, then you're going to locate the car pack that you download. You're going to right click on it, go to show more options and then go to 7-zip and open archive. So you are going to need 7-zip or WinWar to open the archive of the OIV file. Once you open the archive, you're going to see three things. You're going to see content, assembly, XML and a icon. In the content, this is what the OIV installed into your game. So everything that is installed by the OIV is in these files. If you go into the assembly.xml, this is the location where everything was installed. So if we go into content and then we take a look at the assembly XML, it says add source x64e, which is this one right here, and it add this one, which is Airbus. If you scroll down a little bit more, you're going to see another uh, folder, which is the x64i. You can see that the baller mod was added there. And if you go down a little bit more, you can see the x64w, which another car was added there. The one that's going to be more tedious is the ones in the updates because the update is the original file. These ones were just added there. So if we delete them, all of this is gone and we don't have to worry about that. So now that I've explained that, let's go ahead and start to, you know, delete the OIV files. So again, if you go into our mods, to create our mods folder, all we needed was the update file. We didn't need anything else. So these, we can simply just delete them and get rid of them. We're going to enable edit mode. And then we're going to simply copy the ones that we see here and right click and delete. Those are gone. Now we're going to go into updates, x64, DLC packs. And these are all the files that were added into our game. So updates, x64, DLC packs. As you can see, we have a ton of them. Right now, this is 19 and I have a total of 99. Some of these are mod files that I've installed, like different add-on cars, which I don't want to delete because I want them in the game. So if you know your add-on cars name, you don't want to delete those. You only want to delete what you see in the archive. So right now, we're going to scroll down to the first one, which is M Apartment or M Papermint, MP Apartment. So we're going to go MP Apartment, we're going to select that. Then we're going to go to MP Christmas 2, then MP Exclusive. And we're just going to select everything that we see in the archive in OpenIV. Lowrider 10, 11, 12, 13. And we're going to right click and we're going to delete. What we're going to want to do now is copy back the files that we just deleted into the same place that we deleted them from. So we're going to go to the main update, which is the original, then x64, then DLC packs. And you're going to see that we have all of these files right here. So we're going to go ahead and select the ones that we deleted, which is going to be the same ones that are right here, which is. So once you have everything highlighted, we're going to want to extract these files to a folder. I have problem with space, so I have to choose a specific folder. So my Steam games, I'm going to create a folder right here and I'm going to name this folder uh, extracted files. So once that is done, I'm going to go into that folder and I'm going to extract the files that I just highlighted into this folder. So once you have the files copied into the folder, what you're going to want to do is navigate back to the mod updates, x64, DLC packs, and then you're going to want to drag everything here into OpenIV. When copying files into OpenIV, you won't see any transfer bar. So what you need to look at is the number of folders within the OpenIV location that you're transferring to. I started at 80 and now I'm at 89. So as you can see, it's currently going up. It should go to a total of 99. So with that done and everything copied into our DLC packs for the mod folder, we can say that we have finally uninstalled the OIV mega pack. 